So to continue with my non-star free agent things, let's talk about J.J. Redick to the Pelicans. So I think the first potential risk would be if J.J. just got really old really fast. But given that the dude just had his two best seasons and he's about to be like 35, I feel like we can assume that he's still going to be really good. I mean, he looks as athletic as ever. He said on his podcast once that he didn't practice when he played for the Clippers, so I guess those are extra miles that he's going to have. And as long as he can still move off the ball and catch it and then fly to the ground but somehow make the shot anyway, then the dude's still going to be really effective, right? And the playmaking on this team should be good enough to get him the ball. I mean, Lonzo could throw a dart to JJ from pretty much anywhere. Ingram's playmaking has always intrigued me. I think Zion has shown some promising signs with his passing as well. And then Drew is a very good playmaker in his own right. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of it will be through Lonzo and Drew, but even so, that's really cool. I mean, those are two guys who can take defenders off the dribble. Drew scares them a little bit more because of his jumper, yeah. But I do trust that Lonzo is not just going to be sitting at the three-point line all the time. Like, he is going to have opportunities to attack the defense and of course the math does itself it's Lonzo it's Drew it's JJ Redick right the other things that could be cool is the way that JJ plays off of Zion because I think it could be reminiscent of the handoff plays with Embiid yeah we don't know if Zion I mean, we just don't know what how Zion's going to be used in the half court or anything like that but I do think there's potential for that the other thing is this also gives them a really good counter for when teams are ignoring the hell out of, like, let's say Lonzo or Ingram, is JJ could come up and get a handoff from that guy, and then assuming that the pick isn't terrible, that's going to cause the defense to scramble a lot, because if they don't, then that's going to result in JJ getting an open jumper, right? That was something that he did with Ben Simmons a bit, so that could be really cool as well. The other thing that I really like is with all the versatility that the Pelicans have now, they can roll out a few different lineups, and I don't think JJ's limitations are really going to kill them, right? Specifically his defense. Because between Lonzo, Drew, and Ingram, and Zion, those are four guys who, at least to me, can defend multiple positions, so... I think it's going to make their job easier in terms of just putting J.J. on the worst offensive player on the opposing team. I mean, if Alonzo's got to defend a three, if Zion has to defend a four, he'll probably be doing that most of the time anyway. If you have to put Ingram on like a point guard to make sure that J.J.'s on the worst guy, you can do that. Drew, of course, is one of the best defenders in the league, so that's all going to be really really awesome stuff and that will just open them up more offensively because I think you can play Lonzo, Drew, and JJ together and then that could open up potentially the craziest lineup that I could think of for this team which would be Zion at center so that you could go Lonzo, Drew, JJ, Ingram, Zion. You could also swap in Josh Hart for this because Josh, good defender, good shooter as well. I do like this J.J. Redick signing a lot. Now, are there ways in which this could go south? Yeah, potentially. I mean, I mentioned J.J.'s age again. They gave him a two-year contract, which I think is cool. But if J.J. is potentially slowed down too much by next season, that could be rough. There's also a chance that for as many tall defenders as the Pelicans have... It's not going to be impossible for other teams to go at JJ. I mean, we saw these playoffs for Philly while Redick, of course, was still having a great impact for them offensively and overall still probably a positive. Teams were going at him. So you can say all the things about the defenders around him, but it is still going to happen at times. And there is one other thing that I'm interested in seeing. I don't really know which side of this I'm on right now. I think I, I'm pretty neutral. But it's the idea of, are the Pelicans going to be able to make teams pay when they switch, when JJ is running off the ball? Because with Philly, I don't know if you could really do that a lot. Because between Embiid 
and Jimmy and you know sometimes Tobias and Ben as well it was just kind of tough to switch a lot against them without running into a mismatch like Jimmy's got some small guy on him and I mean you have to be very careful with who you switch on to Joel Embiid of course and I just want to see how that all works out for the Pels I mean if we assume a two guard is defending JJ and Zion set a screen for him off the ball and now a two guard is defending Zion assuming they switched I would like to believe that Zion could bully that guy whether it's in the post or whatever but I just want to see it first if a two guard switched on to Lonzo, I mean, that's not too different from what would happen anyway, so I don't know there. But if Ingram sets screens for JJ off the ball, then that could be another situation where JJ, or excuse me, Ingram just has so much of a height advantage on this now like 6'6 dude. He should be able to score, and I think he can, but I just want to see it first. Um, I guess we should also mention, I think Derek Favors is going to be the starting center of this team. He can certainly post up on mismatches and things like that. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting stuff. I do like the move kind of a lot because, again, this team needed shooting and they have enough size and athleticism to hide JJ defensively more than a lot of teams would be able to do. So, there's all that. And it's just a veteran because I'm, I'm a big believer in getting veterans on a young team so between him and uh favors and etuan moore's here and josh hart can maybe be a veteran at this i don't know it was a good move 